Hey guys, um, so today I was actually requested to do a lineup video um, of the clan. So I want to do that for you guys just because um, why not? I need more um, ideas of what you guys like, and I really like it when you guys give me um, ideas of what I could do. So let's get straight into it. this video I'm going to show you my main planners that I actually use um, and then I'll show you what I pretty much use my other ones for that are not so um, not my important ones where I just kind of keep in the cupboard and go to them whenever I need them so for the first one I'm going to show you is my all-time favorite my beauty my it's I just love it so the vintage rose um, Kiki K B6 planner. This is my favorite one. Uh, this is basically my planner for everything. So right now, um, I did mention in another video that I'm not using this so much at the moment because there's not a lot going on, but um, I have kind of gotten back into it, but I just haven't decorated it yet. Uh, the only thing that I have done is put in this whole new Alice in Wonderland theme and it looks absolutely beautiful. Um, but yeah, so to show you what this one is, it's basically um, just my everyday stuff that I like to keep in here, pretty much my important things. Um, so back here, I keep this sticker pouch that I've made. Um, uh, you will find them in previous videos that I've done how to make one. So if you're interest, interested in, in that, um, I'll link that below for you. So I don't really have anything in my little zipper piece here. It's just empty. I don't even really use it that much, but if, one day it will come in here. Um, and then back pocket, I've got nothing. So the first one is my monthly. Um, and I just keep like a piece of vellum just to decorate it up a little bit. As I And like I said, I haven't done April just yet, only because I'm in my other planner. Um, kind of giving this one a break and I need to use these other inserts. But I wanted to show you what I do in this one. So this is my monthly section. Then next up is my weekly section. Um, and again, I have not been doing any weeks. <laughs> um, and I do like the fact of keeping... So I did have a... What do they call it? Uh, this week ruler kind of clip-in divider part to basically flip straight to this page. But that really annoyed me and I didn't like it. It didn't suit anything. Then I remembered that I had these Kiki K um, paper clips. And what I did was just grab the pages that I have here clip it all into one area and that way when I flip to this area I can easily grab it and then flip it open and there it is um, which I thought was a really good idea and it also looks a lot neater so I really like that um, although I am using in the monthly section this little um, bookmark uh, for me to flip through it but anyway it's just for mainly decoration so that's why I like it um, so for the third one is basically my um uh what's it called my <laughs> i'm trying to think now uh this is my what is this area let me remember um so i've got vellum and then i've got a piece of paper here that i've put an alice card on then yes so this is my section of to do area i completely forgot um yeah just lost my train of thought so yeah, this is my section of where I keep all my, kind of like my to-dos of what needs to be done. Um, as you can see, I've got like a little um, page note here that says this week. And this is basically the days that I like to clean um, these rooms. Uh, doesn't happen all the time, but it's just good to have it there anyway. This is my monthly section um, for cleaning. I like how I've done that. It works for me. Um, I I think I'll probably do this every year now. It's just, it's so easy. Then I've got this next section for goals. And pretty much years have seen that, but I can't do it anymore. Uh, only because, well, I had to make a new one. These are in, mean that we have to go out and we're not allowed to do that at, at the moment. Uh, so the next section and the fourth one, this one's just tracking sick days and um, the kids. Basically, this is my kids section for tracking their sick days from school, 
um, their medication, when they need to go and get it renewed, medical certificate, all that kind of stuff. Um, I also do like to keep their, um, their school, um, online schooling stuff in this section, but I keep that at the back. Um, and it's just easier for me to keep track of those things. So next up, I kind of have to hide this next part. So the next section, this is more of a info section where I keep um, important inf information like uh, for our pets. Uh, so for our little dogs, we I like to keep their microchip number where they're registered through and um, their birthdays because I never remembered that ever. And um, when it comes to other kind of important things, that's usually where I'll put... Um, Think I have it. Yes, I do have it at the back. So I have it at the back clipped together with this little paper clip here. Um, and this is where I keep the passwords and codes and stuff like that. Um, again, like I said, this is the info section and this is what works for me. Next section is the uh, expense section. Uh, I do have this insert from Mumsy and Bub, coffee liquid, a liquid hug for your brain. Love that insert. Um, and as always, I've, say, I've said this a lot in my videos that this, uh, I have one page and it has basically a list of important things that need to be done um, straight away or that is coming up that I need to remember. Um, as you can see, I've already crossed off school fees, so that's done. And then we've got to get our cars serviced and um, rego paid and whatnot. Um, I'm sure there will be more that will need to be done throughout the year, but those are the main important things that needed to be done. Uh, then next, of course, I keep my expenses behind this um, just to keep track of what bills are coming out for what month uh, or date. And I like to keep track of that because sometimes you can never remember that kind of thing. Then up next is I've got in the expenses area, I have this little card that kind of stops or breaks it up a bit. And this is my one section. This is and I've got a list of the stuff that I would like to buy eventually in the future or soon depending on whenever we have the money really or when we can go and get it um, and if they have it as well but uh, it's just a list of things that we would like to get um, I have a section where it says house and then I'll have like uh, I don't know say I want to get like new, more makeup or uh, skincare stuff I will put it in like sections like that and that's just that's my little area that I like to keep um, for that at the back of expenses and for the last one this is where I kind of just I think this is what everyone does but this is where I usually keep extra pieces of paper some sticky notes um, these are from GP studio this is in a box I'm pretty sure one of their boxes that they had um, I also do like to keep these stickers that were from the Kiki K planners um, just because these are a lot neater than my writing where and easier for me to just chuck those in either the month or the weekly to say that um, it's payday or you know like me time there is these other ones but as you can see I do use payday a lot more so yeah I've got payday me time travel exercise party to do um, but yeah it's just I like to keep those in here just to have because I'm always using those um, yeah, and like I said, extra paper that I've kept at the back here. I've got my page lifter that I've made. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got a video on that um, that I did upload. If I do, it'll be in the link below. Um, a lot of these that you see here, I've made myself a couple of things. So the paper I have, I did buy from Illustrate You, but I don't think they are available anymore. Um, and at the back we have the note pages, pretty much simple. This is my, my go-to planner. Um, I love it so much, only because of the rose gold. It's just, oh, it's actually a bit dirty. Um, the rose gold is just, that's my color, rose gold and the blush pink kind of color. So that's the B6. Oh my God, that was just one planner and we haven't even begun. Okay, I'm gonna try and do these quicker so that way um, we're not here all day. But, uh, so this is pretty much my planner lineup for 2020. Um, but that, yeah, that one's my main to, to go to kind of planner. Anyway, uh, next up is my personal. This is the one that I'm actually in right now, but still iffy about it. Um, 
I do love this planner, but yeah, this one, like I said, I'm in this planner mainly because I have to use the inserts and I don't want them to go to waste. Um, if this is exactly the same setup as my B6, just a couple of different things. So this one is my monthly section. Then next up is pretty much, I like to keep my little dividers in here. Um, just to break it up, makes it look nice as well. I do like this section where I've got the uh, monthly view as my little notes. And I like, I, have, I don't know what it is. My favorite thing to do lately is to put a little sticker up into this box and it just kind of gives it that nice look. I don't know, it's just me. Um, next up, yes, this is the weekly section. So I keep this little color coding um, piece of paper in here to remind me of what's what and to be highlighted. Just, it makes it give, it gives it a bit of color. That's why I like it. Um, then we've got some vellum and acetate or vellum aspect. Um, then, wait, am I, is that right? Oh, I don't know, now I'm confused. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, like I said, paper clip up top because it just holds it all together. This is my section and this is my little daily card um, that I like to keep in here just to go and check over things of what needs to be done in my planners. Um, sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. But yeah, this one I didn't really uh, decorate very much, but next week will be. Uh, third section, I'll make sure that I'm allowed to show that. Third section is my cleaning area, or my to-do list and cleaning section. Um, I've got this daily note on the side here where it's just pretty much, these are the things that ne that needs to be done every day. Um, and then in this little part, oh, listen to those trucks. Um, we've got... Oh, I have the kitchen and dining, bathrooms, then bedrooms, then lounge rooms, laundry, and the last one, it's outside. Those are just some of the things that I like to, um, it's just good to have like a list of what I want to get done in those rooms because um, I just, it makes it easier for me to follow. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then we've got the to-do list here. Then this is my goal section at the moment. I'm really liking that I had to um, write a whole new list. This is what I need to get done or, you know, goals that I would like to get done anyway. Um, but yeah, that's that's my goal section. And also at the back there is the addresses. Pretty sure I've got at least a couple of addresses in here. Uh, next section, oh, don't want to show it. Next section is expenses area. Um, again, this part is already filled out, but I decided to keep this in here anyway. Um, but this is pretty much where I like to keep track of my expenses. Pretty much the same as my basics. Um, and I don't... Yeah, there's nothing there. Then we've got birthdays and anniversaries. Not that I'm using it anyway. Then we have some extra notes at the back here or pages just to pretty much just write anything. Um, my page lifter, I did do a video on that, so if um, you want to know how to make one of those, um, that'll be in the link below. I absolutely love this little page lifter or insert. It's even good for as a front cover thing. It's so pretty. Um, yeah, and then I've got more note paper at the back here. I usually, if I'm going to write notes, I usually go for the notepad first before I even go for the um, pages, but that's that's just me. So yeah, again, like I said, this planner is exactly the same as the B6. I'm using this one at the moment more because I want to use up all these dated inserts and I really don't want them to go to waste. So that's my reason for why I'm not in the B6 anymore or at the moment. Okay, um, next up, or the last one I should say. So this is my third one that I'm using or this one's pretty much my main one right now. So this is a pocket. Oh, did I mention that? This is a personal size in coral. Kiki K. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is a coral as well. Pocket or small Kiki K planner. And in this, oh God, she's so beautiful. Look how nice that is. So in this one, I do keep, I did keep a washi sample kind of thing in the back of this. Not using it at all but it's there in case I do decide to travel. So this is my nifty little idea. I keep my tiny little stickers or sampler sheets in this 
Kiki K note page for what is it again? Dream, believe, achieve. It was it came in a tin where this um, where you write down your dreams and stuff like that. But this to me was a perfect little pocket to keep all my stickers and so they didn't get damaged and whatnot. So that's my my little nifty idea I liked. Um, then I've got my little dashboard that I've made. I don't think I did a video on that, but yeah, um, these are easy to make anyway. Then um, the dividers I decided to make with these. So this, these are actually from Planners Anonymous. Um, the paper, these are washi tape actually. Um, yeah, so this, in my little pockets one, it's just, it's so simple and I like it so much. Uh, so this is basically my, um, uh, what is it? So I did do April in this one. This is my monthly section. Uh, again, see, this is why I'm obsessed with it. I love having a sticker here. Um, just in the top box and then having all of what is you know needed to be put into a month and then highlighted and I really really like how I've done that I just think it's really pretty and I like how I've just put the simple washi tape um, then next up we have the weekly section this is my daughter's little note to me um, weekly section didn't decorate it but I will show you that I have decorated in the past this week it was just not happening um, but this is pretty much how I've decorated it in the past um, it just it looks really really nice so I'm gonna pop that there okay third section is this is still something that I'm trying to figure out but this will basically be my notes section exactly um, I do have I had I do have this note on the side here, but um, the kids aren't really going to school anymore. But I did like to keep track of their um, their library days or their sports days just because we always, always forgot when their library day was and they forgot to take their books back or PE days. They're not wearing their PE clothes and it's just if I have it here, then I'll remember. But they're not really going to school anymore because of this whole thing. Um, but yeah, this section is basically where I write all my lists. Then the next section is just more notes, but this is where I suppose it's more lists. I just, I have so many papers. So this one's like notes section, but it's more of like just writing down important things that are actually coming up and I want to get done straight away. Actually, I did do that one so I could cross that one off, but my highlighter is going somewhere. Uh, let's, I suppose this will do. Let's highlight, ooh, that's a bright pink. So, I'm just going to highlight it. Oh, but I like to highlight it grey. Um, yeah, I'll leave that for later. I like to highlight that with a grey colour, just to say that it's over and done with. Um, but yeah, so this is, so pretty much I do kind of have more of like note sections and stuff like that. Um, this next part is my important section again like I have in my other planners this is what um, I like to keep in this one because again as I've said in the past this planner is my important only planner where everything that is completely important has to be in this planner because this one comes with me everywhere um, but yeah so this yeah important things that are coming up so it's car rego those things um, is what I have I don't want to show this section, but these, I like to keep my dog's information in here as well, like their microchip number and whatnot. See, little doggy sticker right there. That's what I like to keep in here um, as an important section. But yeah, that section right here, these, I think that's one, one, two, three, four, five. So in the fifth section, that is my important section notes. Um, and then the last page divider here, uh, sorry, yeah, last divider, um, I basically use it as a page lifter. It's not really for a section at all. Um, and then I did put some sticky notes on it, just some little ones, just in case I don't want to write on the page itself or just put this in if I need more room to write. And then at the back, I do keep a um, track of the book I'm reading because I completely forget what chapter I'm up to because um, it's on my tablet at the moment so that is what those are for they like I said they are my importance 
section, oh, important planners that I use right now. Now I'm getting all tongue tied. Okay, so for the other planners that I use, these are more like my storage kind of planners. So, but I do love them. I will not part with them at the moment. Although there has been planners that I have um, gotten rid of in the past and I regretfully, I really, really regret that I even considered getting rid of them. Um, because I absolutely miss them now and I don't even have them in my collection. If I kept all the planners that I bought from Kiki K, I would have a big collection. But I don't have that anymore and that's my own fault. Um, anyway, but yeah, so these next ones that I'm about to sh show you are basically a storage kind of planner. So I'll show you, I'll continue on with the Kiki K and then I'll get into the Mumsy and Bum. So for this one, it's a B6 oatmeal, I'm pretty sure that's what this one is. Uh, the first B6 that ever came out from Kiki K. Absolutely loved it. And I still love it. It's just that it's it gets so dirty so quickly. Um, but yeah, so this is the Kiki K um, B6 planner. Um, so this is where I keep all of B6 inserts. Um, so and I do have this in here only because I didn't want to hole punch it and it's so pretty. This is a planner's anonymous one. But yeah, so anything that I've made or anything that um, I've bought from someone um, or something, the they will go in here. So this is basically where I hold all of my inserts, mainly dividers and stuff like that. So these are dividers. These this one. These dividers came with this planner and then of course the page lifter. Then these dividers came with the Vintage Rose B6 planner. Same with this one as the, uh, what is it, the page lifter. These papers are from Planners Anonymous uh, and I made them into dividers. Uh, these are, oh, they look so beautiful, which is why I had them. Um, then I've got these made from Planners Anonymous, of course. A lot of stuff that I use when it comes to the paper is from Planners Anonymous, so I'm just going to say that. Um, these acetates are from exactly Planners Anonymous. So I made these into dividers or in, basically insert dividers, tabbed or top tab ones, so that way I could put these in my planners just so it's just something different. Um, then I've got the red hair, brown hair, planner girl. I've got the fall, um, planner babe. Uh, that was peacock ballet, ballet peacock, something like that. Um, this one was barista brunch, whale song. I'm pretty sure. That's so nineties. Oh, my favorite. Um, Northern Lights. Then, of course, I've got some insert sections, just some more pa um, B6 sizes. This is the acetate, um, vellum, and these are from the Serenity box. And this one's Planner Babe, Fall, Fall. <laughs> this one's from Mumsy and Bob, is that correct? Yes, Mumsy and Bub, set your goals, work your plan. Um, and then these I just made myself um, with some washi tape. I did put, I did laminate some stickers. I laminate, laminated a lot of them because I didn't want to get rid of these. Like I love using stickers, but at the same time I wanted to laminate them just because these are so much easier to just pop in instead of having to buy stickers all over again. That's just what I do. Anyway, this section or oh, this one is another um, I suppose they could be page lifters or just a decorative piece for the front. I've got the pink, gold, and black, and then we've got the black and green with the pineapples. Again, more stickers. Um, and then we've I've made like an Indian kind of one that looked really nice. Then uh, this was from the Serenity box as well, um, just as a nice page lifter, but I laminated that one. I didn't laminate the other ones just because I liked the feel of the cardboard although I feel like I should laminate them to keep them safe so that's that this one is basically filled with b6 only um, inserts oh I'm losing room now so for the big ones this one oh, this is my ultimate favorite this one right here um, this is the a5 size it's actually dirty too um, the a5 size Kiki K planner 
in I think they called it the lavender lavender or I don't know but it looks beautiful I love the gold flex on it it's my absolute favorite just wish they brought this out in a B6 because oh my god I would love that um, but anyway this one basically holds again the actually no this one is what do I have this one for I changed this so much it it's incredible how much I change my mind um, so in this one this oh that's right this is where I keep all my stickers or loose stickers that I don't have any room so these are just random um, made some inserts of course from uh, and I just thought it'd be nice to decorate this up I know it's for a sticker storage but I wanted to decorate it anyway um, so the first section yeah this is just where I stuck all my stickers um, just because it was just easier to put them here instead of having them out everywhere it was ridiculous how much I had um, I did hole punch a few of them I find that it looks a lot neater but for the ones that I couldn't hole punch see like the stickers are right up the edge I couldn't so I had to washi tape it straight on the back and then popped it on here see like this this is where the stickers are and then I just hole punched and popped them in because it worked um, but yeah, so this is pretty much my um, sticker book, I suppose. That's what you call it. Um, this was my household planner where I kept it all. I probably will go back to it because I actually miss having this as my household only planner. But we'll see. I don't know. I change my mind so many times. It's not even funny. Um, but yeah, so that's that one. Then my beauty, this was the very first planner I ever bought and I'm still in love with it. I never will get, I will never get rid of it. Um, but this was like, I call it the watermelon planner. I have no idea what it was called originally on Kiki K, but this was my first ever planner and it's the fabric. The only problem I have with it is that it's fabric because love the feel. Don't get me wrong. It's beautiful. I love the feel. I love the look of it and everything. It's just that it gets dirty and you cannot clean it. It is hard. Um, but for this um, A5 watermelon planner or Kiki K planner, I keep pretty much the same as the B6. This is where I keep all of the A5 inserts. So this one came with this planner, the pink lavender one. Then I made some more like tarot uh, gypsy kind of dividers. Um, they kind of turned out. This is when I was just fiddling around seeing what I could do with dividers. Then I made some Harry Potter um, dividers. They looked cool and I still love them. They look good. I was selling these for a while. Um, but yeah, I made, I made a lot of these. Um, two sets of Harry Potter and they look so cool. Uh, then next up, Boho, yeah, Boho um, dividers. That's just what I had. Um, I kind of hope that you did see that though. Here, I'll do another flip <laughs> in case you're like, move your arm. I just realized it's those. Quickly flip. But these, oh, I love them so much. I've been getting more and more into this whole um, dividers and yeah, they're my favorite. Um, random piece of paper apparently there. Um, but I did also make this beautiful panda. Um, shake a dashboard uh, and it says stay calm and hug a panda i thought that was really cute i can't believe i made that either um as you can see and then we i made a cleaning dashboard and then an like an army defense kind of dashboard um what's cooking good looking dashboard celebrations and then a bunch of other random uh i suppose dashboards is that what you would call it um or just a page lifter, something like that. Then there's these ones for winter, spring, autumn, and um, some. I did have a summer, but I can't find that one. Uh, and then I've got some inserts here, or these um, folders that I did make. And then I've got a page, or a couple of these pages. They're just like a like a a reduced stress kind of meditate and positive vibe kind of cardboard i printed these out ages ago but i haven't used them in a long time um oh that's where they went so i've got the ruler in here and then i've got also the um stickers so yeah that's what this a5 holds 
Okay, we're slowly getting through them. Okay, now we are going to move on to the, uh, what are they called? Um, I'm trying to remember, hold on. Uh, Mumsy and Bub. Okay, let's start with the small one. Let's go with the, oh, should I go with the very first? Let's go with the first one that I have bought ever. So this big baby now, she's quite big, she's quite full. Um, she's about to bust is what it is, but this is the first ever TN planner that I bought from Mumsy and Bub. Um, it's just so beautiful. I mainly bought it because the, the spine is, oh, it's beautiful. Anyway, this is where I keep all of my sticker storage. I absolutely love it. So what I've done is made sections for the Planners Anonymous kits. So the first up is the Getaway, Planner Babe, uh, Peacock Ballet, Barista Brunch, and then at the back of this one, I just realized that this, yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, so I've, I've also got some stickers there. Um, and then this one is just basically a bunch of random stickers from different websites um, or places. But that's where I keep all stickers, actually with the Planners Anonymous, I keep die cuts as well um, with the stickers and cards and stuff like that. But that's that one, that one holds all that kind of stuff. Then we have the black, oh, I forgot to mention, this is Love Note, if you're wondering what this is called, Love Note. This one is the black one, it's Raven. It does not come with the pink band, it comes with a different color band. I can't even remember, I think it was black. Um, but, oh, she was. she's so beautiful, I love this one. The reason why I put pink with it, just because it just looked so much better, I don't know why, but for me, it, just looks really cool with this hot pink color with the black. Um, and again, this one's exactly like the Love Note Planner. This is where I keep the Planners Anonymous stickers, um, just and cards and die cuts, just because it's just easier to store them this way. So I've got, um, what was it, Fall. We've got, oh sorry, this one's Forest Fall. That's so 90s, Northern Lights then Whale Song and Serenity. I know they're not all in order and whatnot, but it's just in there because it's just how I was doing it. Um, so that's for that one. Okay, two more left, two more. And next up, ooh, I'll leave the, that one for last. So this is my favorite. I love this one. It's an A5, if I'm correct. No, sorry, not A5. Um, what do they call it? Um, a6, I think that's what it is, an A6. It's, um, I think it's close to a pocket. It's close, let's have a look. Ooh, very close, it's just a little bit taller. Just by a little bit. But um, anyway, so this is the Fire and Gold. I absolutely love it, I'm not sure if you can see it. I'll try my best to get the light to kind of flash on it. I hope you can see it, but if you can see it, it is beautiful when the light hits it. It is so sparkly. I absolutely love this one. Um, but yeah, so this one, I actually keep my Kiki K notebooks in this one, um, but I've got it for kind of two different things. So the first one was more, I will probably change this again because I'm always, always changing it. So originally I was trying to do like a more eco-friendly, still doing it, but um, it's just, I, I'm not sure if it's going to be something that I'll always go to. Um, and that was the same for this notebook. So that was the first notebook. The second notebook was for minimalism. Um, still doing this. It's just I'm not sure if this book is going to be needed for just one part that I've written in it. So I probably will change them, but so far for what I have kind of changed this into, I got the idea from Plum Mashables. Is that right? Yeah, Plum Mashables. So shout out to her. Um, I just, I really, really loved her idea and I thought, oh my God, why didn't I think of that? Um, that's an awesome idea. So I ended up kind of pinching her idea and I know for a fact a lot of people do um, but yeah he, her idea was really cool so I decided to do my own um, so this section there's well, how many is there there's three booklets left and I probably will do that with these two as well but for the first one I've, ch I've turned it into I'll tell you what it is I've turned it into like a washi sample um, 
like a go-to book to figure out what washi tape um, I'd like to use next. And I really like that idea. I think it's a really good idea. So what I've decided, um, her setup is completely different. Hers is a lot more neater, but I wanted that edgier look. So I love, I don't know what it is. I have a problem with it, but I love the fact of seeing ripped washi where it's not so perfect and straight. I love the edginess of it. I don't know why I just do, that's just me. Um, but yeah, so we've got the plant. So this first booklet is for Planners Anonymous only washi tape. So this is where I just keep all the washi tapes. Oh my God. You know what? It's even nice just to flip through and just look at all the washi that I've had in the past. Um, so that's what I use that section for. Um, like I said, all of this next section is all washi and I love this idea. I think it's a really, really good idea. Um, so the next one is, I even labeled it, uh, Mumsy and Bub. So this one, I keep all of Mumsy and Bub's washi, washi tape um, in this area here. And these are just all the washi tapes that I have bought in the past. Um, and not only that, I also realized that it's a really good idea to do this because I can try and remember where I've gotten the washi tape because I always do it. I always go, where did I get this from? I don't know where I got it from. And it takes me forever to try and figure out where I exactly got this washi tape from. Whereas if I have it in here, I'm going to go, oh, this is from Mumsy and Bub or Planners Anonymous or wherever I've bought it. Um, and I can go and see if they have it still. So I really like that. So that's section Mumsy and Bub. And then for the last one here, this is just miscellaneous. Basically, these, <laughs> so these washi tapes are actually from, I have no idea, to be honest. These washi tapes, so if I want them again, I'm probably never going to get them again because I don't know where I got these from. Um, I do know that there is a couple that are from Officeworks, like these two here. These are from Office Officeworks. And which ones? It was the Peacocks and these here were from eBay, from memory. And they were like two bucks. Um, but yeah, and then of course we've got some Halloween, which is also from eBay. Oh, my memory is actually jogging back to me. <laughs> What's happening? Um, but yeah, so these washi tapes basically from random places that I have gotten them. These are from, uh, it's, a, it's a pack um, from Officeworks. And same with this section here. Um, and that section as well. No, those are not. Yeah, Officeworks, Officeworks. Office works. <laughs> Those came in like a pack and I love that they're so thin. Um, and what I want to do, because like I said, miscellaneous, Mumsy and Barb, Planners Anonymous, I actually want to use one of these. It'll probably be this one because it's pink and it's flashy. Um, this will probably become my favorites washi. So I'll put down my washi tape, write the name next to it, and these will this will be my absolute, oh my God, favorites that I'll always, always repurchase. Um, but yeah, so that's what I use this for. I will be changing it up again, but like I said, I, I mean, I give, gave you a bit of an idea of what I'm changing it into. This is my washi um, travel planner, I guess, or TN planner, but this is, oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Really good idea. So good on you for thinking of that plum mashables. I think that was a really, really good idea. Um, I, I've, I was blown away with it and I couldn't believe that. I didn't think of that. Okay, for the last one, we have this amazing one. Uh, and I left it for last because you're going to be like, oh my God. But this is my last planner from Mumsy and Bub. The B6. Um, oh, I didn't mention it. So the Love Note and Raven. Um, these are B6 planners, just so you know. B6 TN from Mumsy and Bub. And I'm pretty sure I already mentioned it, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, this is A6 <laughs> Mumsy and Bub Fire and Gold Planner. Okay, they're out of the way. This one, this is, that they, they did a galaxy box, and of course I had to get my hands on this because look at it. It's rainbow and it's freaking amazing. Um, but yeah, so this is from Mumsy and Bub as well. This is a B6 TN planner um, and it did come with this they did it was a big box thing I'm not sure if they still have it I'm actually quite curious if they do um, but yeah so this section or this planner is mainly used oh I just realized I actually used this oh silly me anyway uh, so this I use for basically my Bluey's creation um, 
uh, what's the word I'm trying to think? <laughs> There's so much a sparkle happening right now. I'm just losing track of what I'm trying to say. Um, oh, what is it? Um, so I use this planner basically for all of my Bluey's creations, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all those kinds of things. It comes in here, but this is mainly, um, I wonder if I can show you, actually I can because in the past, so, um, yeah, this this first book, I like to keep it closed with this paper clip just because it just flings open. Um, don't ask me where I got that from. Uh, but yeah, so I've decorated it, of course, with Flanners Anonymous stuff. <laughs> Bit of everything. That's from Hello Paper Cat, though. Um, but yeah, so yeah, okay, I can show you this at, at least. So this is where I basically keep all of my things that are coming up so this is the, the first pages are basically showing me what's happening um, obviously I don't do the monthly views anymore just because I didn't think people were very interested in those a lot of people are more interested in the whole weekly view kind of thing um, then I've got the Tuesday tweets so these are just the upcoming dates I've already have I've already got this listed on my Facebook page um, and it's pinned then uh, what else I wanna, I'm going to pull this off because I feel like this is getting into the... But I'll show you an example of what I mean. So this was January and February. And as you can see, grey means that they, they were done. These two weren't done, unfortunately. Because um, time just got away from me. But this is what I'm talking about. So I do it as uh, where I've got the dates and what is on those days. And I like seeing that view because... It just helps me to remember that's what's coming up. You need to get your ass into gear and get it done. Um, that's But yeah, that's what I do for this little area here. I'm just going to pop this back on. I feel like it's not going to work now. I always have trouble with these clips. Um, but I won't show you the next section, but I will show you this divider. This was from Mumsy and Bub. Absolutely love it. Um, it's a little... Um, insert section. So for the next one, I'm just going to quickly close this off if I can. Okay, so for the next part, this section is basically my video ideas. Actually, I can't show you that either um, because these are the videos that are coming up um, eventually that I would like to um, share with you all some some newer things that I want to do as well um, but I will show you this insert I did make this as well I'm pretty sure I have a video on that um, but yeah I ended up making this um, but yeah I ended up making this into a little page top tab divider or insert that's well let's let's call it an insert but yeah um, so this is basically my section for video ideas I wonder if I can show you one that I might have ticked off I have okay so here yeah. so basically I've got my video idea and then I write down what I want to take do a video of and then I highlight it off there is more on this page um, and as you can see I'm still going to be writing heaps more um, I just it depends on whether they come to me or not and of course I've just decorated it with some other paper as well um, but yeah, and then I've got some sticky notes and at the back, I did decide to throw it in here only because um, it was just bulking up my planner, the B6 one anyway. Um, but this is my, what is it? Basically my goals, my gratefulness kind of little planner and stuff like that. Um, but I do keep track. So this is my tracker planner. That's right. So I keep track of everything really. Uh, so I, I'm trying to get up early, um, trying, not working, um, exercise, meditate, um, yeah, they're, like everything at the moment is just kind of on hold. Um, I am trying to keep track and do it as a daily habit thing, um, but it's just whether I have the energy to do it or not. Um, I also need to track my t medis uh, vitamins that I need to take. Um, and I was thinking of doing what I eat to track what I eat because I'm still, I'm very limited to things that I am allowed to eat and I don't know what is setting them off. But anyway, um, and then I've got, oh yes, so this is the section that I was talking about. So this section is where I track the foods that I need to avoid because these are the ones that set me off and make me 
absolutely ill and so sick um, that I end up throwing up and it's just a whole night and sometimes a whole week of me being so sick. Anyway, still trying to figure out what the hell it is. I uh, don't have a section for this area yet, um, but then I've got my gratefulness, like what I'm grateful for, and I've just got the month for each section, um, and yeah, what I'm grateful for. I just write down a bunch of things that I would, I'm grateful for that day. So yeah, that is pretty much all of my planners. That's the planner lineup, I guess. Um, I hope I explained it well. I hope I did the correct video um, as a planner lineup. This is pretty much all my planners of what, um, what I have, what I love, and I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, and if you like it, let me know. Uh, give this, some, uh, uh, this video a thumbs up. Um, and if you're new, welcome. I know it's at the end of the video, but welcome. But don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Just have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys for another video, hopefully in the future, of more of this kind of stuff. I actually like doing these. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. I'll see you all next time. Don't forget to be positive and give love. Bye. Mm -hmm.